Welcome back to yet another episode of So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into the catalog. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the king of modern day gangster rap, Freddie Gibbs. Born and raised in Gary, Indiana, Gibbs has been in the music scene for a long time. At the age of 38, he's released a metric shit ton of music. After a handful of mixtapes and features, Gibbs created his own record label, ESGN, in 2013, where he's been releasing most of his recent material. While the easiest way to describe Gibbs' music is gangster rap, he certainly has evolved throughout his long career, mostly due to the help of the producers that he has chosen for more recent projects. His early mixtapes and albums aren't that bad. I actually do enjoy quite a few of the songs, but they are definitely outdated. Plus, I I don't think that they're the best to start off with if you do plan on beginning to listen to Gibbs. So with all that being said, I will be recommending two albums and three individual tracks that I think you should be checking out if you're looking to get into all the music that Freddie Gibbs has to offer. Without further ado, the albums. The first Freddie Gibbs album to listen to is his 2014 modern classic, Pinata. The first of two releases with Madlib running production, Gibbs seems to take his abilities to the next level while Madlib carves out some top-notch jazz rap instrumentals. High featuring Danny Brown is one of the first real standouts here as the two MCs deliver raunchy tales of smoking weed and the antics that follow. Madlib masterfully chops up Frida Payne's I Get High on Your Memory, creating an undeniably catchy beat. Next, Thuggin is one of those tracks where Gibbs really gets into his zone as he seriously raps about his street life. The stringy, Slinky Lake beat rings like wind chimes, giving it a near noir feel, and Gibbs Gibbs' vivid stories only add to this unique atmosphere. One last track that needs to be heard is Lakers featuring Ab Soul and Polyester the Saint. The song is a love letter to Los Angeles, as each member on this cut, Madlib included, has close ties to the city. Despite growing up in Indiana, Gibbs still feels a close association to the City of Angels, even bringing up his further appreciation of the LA Dodgers baseball cap after Magic Johnson bought the team. To only talk about three songs from this record is a disservice, as Pinata is the pinnacle album that you need to hear in order to understand Freddie Gibbs just a little bit better. Next up, you're gonna have to listen Listen to Gibbs' latest collab and release, Alfredo. This time teaming up with The Alchemist, the duo perfect the art of modern jazz rap through lush production and riveting verses. Scotty Bean featuring Rick Ross is one of the tracks that gives Alfredo so much character. Arguably one of the greatest beats that The Alchemist has ever cooked up, it becomes the perfect playground for Freddie Gibbs and Rick Ross to trade their incredible verses. Next, Something to Rap About featuring Tyler the Creator is one of those songs that makes you want to pull out a lawn chair and soak in the sun. The guitar sample never fails to get stuck in my head, while Gibbs and Tyler reflect on their past and dream about their bright future. Futures. Even with their grimy and gritty vocals, the song continues to shine. Last but not least is Babies and Fools featuring Conway the Machine. Babies and Fools acts as a way for both MCs to express the state of where they are in life right now. In doing so, they pull back their tough guy persona and present a vulnerable side to them, something that will paint a clearer picture of who Gibbs and Conway truly are. Alfredo is a delicious full course meal, pun intended, and should be required listening when attempting to get into Freddie Gibbs' discography. And now it is time to move to the tracks. The first track to hear is another collab with Madlib. This time, it's Crime Pays from their 2019 record, Bandana. I didn't want to do two from the Mad Gibbs projects, but the song is just too damn good to pass up. The beat is captivating, pulling you in with the panning piano sample, subtle bass, and occasional bursts of shimmering noises. Madlib outdoes himself on this beat. Gibbs lives up to his end of the bargain as well, as he finds himself rapidly switching up flows and serving ice cold dishes. The hook is one of Gibbs' best, featuring his signature swagger and his affinity for cocaine. Crime Pays is a must listen for any new fan. Next up is Set Set from Gibbs' 2018 album, Freddy. This time, with Kenny Beats behind the production, Gibbs gives us a short banger. The bass is so deep that it will suck you in like a black hole while the percussion claps to offset the bass's weight. Set Set is a great example of how braggadocious Gibbs can get, rapping about how he can fire off shots, leaving holes in your chest like Fruit Loops. It's over the top, it's dirty as hell, and it is absolutely Freddy Gibbs. Check this joint out. To round out the tracks, you should listen to Fuck It Up The Count, which comes off his 2015 LP, Shadow of a Doubt. This is a great song for New listeners because it is the perfect intersection of the old Gibbs and where he is today. It merges his early mixtapes and albums with the current soundscape of his music. The beat is simplistic, relying heavily on pitter-pattering drums and a heavenly piano loop. Plus, Gibbs raps about his favorite topics, dealing drugs and making money. And selfishly, I love the song because of the sample that opens the track up, which is ripped directly from the HBO show The Wire. The scene is all about a young girl not being able to do basic math, but knows exactly how much money she made selling cocaine because it's been drilled into her to never fuck up the count. Definitely worth a listen. And that concludes my 
my video on Freddie Gibbs. Give your best shot to dive into more of his music than I talked about here today. Like I said at the top of the video, I know that I did not touch on any of his early mixtapes or albums, but they're still definitely worth a listen. All of the albums and tracks that I've talked about are located in the description box below. While you're down there, feel free to leave a comment and let me know if I missed out on one of your favorite Freddie Gibbs albums. There are a hell of a lot of them, so I'm sure I probably did. You can also suggest other artists that you would like to see featured on this show. I take all recommendations seriously, so give it a go. Be sure to subscribe for videos just like this every single Wednesday, along with the occasional one on Mondays, along with Forever Spinning, which is a video history essay on a classic album that comes out every other Friday, and for shows like Stacks of Wax, where I alphabetically go through my record collection, and Where It's At, where I talk about my favorite albums from the month prior. That's it. That is all the babbling that you are going to hear from me, besides wear a mask when you go outside, listen to Freddie Gibbs music, and if you have the money, make sure to support your local artists and local record stores. Until next time, happy listening.